Welcome back to Boring Reviews. Boring Land. Oh, Come just on. kidding. Blasphemer. Oh, Hello, my. Boring Review Nation. <laughs> we know all things. What up, Boring Reviews? Jody there. Nick here. And today we are trying out some chips from England. Food time, baby. We did a reaction to um, UK sweets on our channel. Go ahead and check that out. Um, we taste it for the first time. We tell what we think. In that, a viewer, I think it was Han Solo, actually said, so is this all you're going to do? It's just the sweets? No, my man. We got you. He sent us the, the food. We are going to try it out. So we are checking out chips today. We're going to do one thing of jammies. Or crisps. Crisps. Oh, excuse me. Jolly old England. We're going to have some crisps. Today? No, that was horrible. So, <laughs> I did ask you to stop. The shirt says, no, no, Joe. It's saying, no, no, Nick. Stop yes. it right now. So we're going to go ahead and check this out. Before we do, don't forget, if you like what you see here and you want to see more videos like this or other videos with I these am. two weirdos, go ahead and hit give us a thumbs up and go ahead and subscribe Ding. to the channel. Both those things will help out tremendously, and we would appreciate a comment below. Let us know what you think about some of the things we're trying out, your thoughts, your favorites. Let's not waste any time. Shall we eat? All right. So first, we are going to try the Tyrells. This is hand-cooked English crisps, sweet chili and red pepper. Really? <laughs> We're going to start off the bat with the spicy stuff. You grabbed it. All right. So I'm not a huge fan of spicy stuff. I'm a teacher. The kids love the spicy stuff. Wait, wait, wait. wait. Holy cow. She just jumps right into it. I'm hungry. We didn't do a cheers. We didn't do anything. She just went right into it. Mmm, that was so good. What does it taste like? We have something similar. Well, it's like, it's like kettle cooks, right? Mm-hmm. No, but... I'm thinking, I'm thinking. It tastes kind of like barbecue chips, right? Kind of. Maybe that's what I'm thinking. So good. Differently, though. It's not mm -hmm. spicy. Mm-mm. Okay. I'm going to eat all these. Well, I like this one right here because it's like a double-decked wrapped into it. Look at those cute guys right there. Okay, so let's... I saw also another video, Matt Lane Fitness, check out his channel, his videos are great. They were doing 1 to 10, 1 being horrible, 10 being the greatest thing you ever had. What would you rate the Tyrells? So, as Nick knows, I'm not a chip person, um, or a crisp person. They're not my, it's not my go-to thing, but those are really good. I'd probably do an 8. Like, I could see, I'm starving, but I could see going downstairs and just having that bag of chips and watching some shows. Is that an 8? Yeah, I really liked it. Those were good. I'm going to agree with you. I'm going to give it a... Yeah, it's lame. I'm going to give it an A as well. Those are really good. I can snack right. on those for sure. Crisps, number two. All right. You want to say this one? All right. So we got Quavers, and these are cheese, just regular mm -hmm. cheese, 20% extra free. We appreciate the extra and the free. And it's made by Walkers. That's like a very similar to our Lay's. Yeah, I think it's the same company, just uh, different part of the world. Mm. So cheese, gotta love Ooh. cheese. Is this like the sour cream and, and cheese? Ooh, these are wait. different. They are. They're kind of like they're puffed up a little bit. Puffy. They're like, like Fritos, but a little more puffy. Yeah, I like All the right. puffy. You ready? ready? Here we go. Okay. Very similar. I like to, the cheese. To like the. The Ruffles flavored cheese chips, right? Mm-hmm. Cheddar cheese? Yeah, cheddar cheese. There you go. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is just like those, but it's a different style chip. Different mm -hmm. style crisp, I should say. They don't look like these, and mm -hmm. it's kind of fun. Yeah, it is fun. They're like light and airy, so it's kind of like you feel like I can eat more because mm -hmm. there's not like a lot there. It is light and airy, but at the same time, like I feel the two layers, like the front and the back, as opposed to just like a flat chip. And it's called a light curly snack, which <laughs> very accurate on the description there. Yeah. All right, what do you rate that? Oh, yeah. I'm ready for the next one. <clears throat> Out of 10, I'm going to give that a 6. Just because that cheddar cheese flavor <coughs> in throat, is good, but I've had it before, and it's not really my favorite flavor of chip. I was totally thinking a 6, too, which is hilarious. I um I like the cheddar flavor. Um. But I don't know. Yeah, I, I just really like the Tyrells. So maybe I'm comparing it against that. Tyrell. But, yes. Okay, chip number three. All right, so I just got us something to drink to 
cleanse the palate, so to speak. So that's a true um, reaction. These ones I'm really excited for. These are Walkers once again, Monster Munch. Roast beef? What? Now, these are the, we had some of these that were opened through the, the, the trip. And I actually ate one of them because I wanted to see what it was like. And they're like crazy, like hand looking things. I'm curious. If this is, yeah, like right there. I'm curious if this is the same. But roast beef. I do like roast beef, the actual roast beef. I don't think I've ever had roast beef. Ooh, as a flavor. That <laughs> smells like the cup of noodle stuff. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. They're huge. Yeah, they're ginormous. Are you ready? Yes. I grabbed a smaller piece. <laughs> That's definitely roast beef flavor. I can't tell if I like it or not. Okay, I'll rate it first. I'm going to give this like a three. Okay, not my favorite. It's The, the flavor is like way too strong. And it, it's just like, like that salty mix that you put like in cup of noodles or in ramen or whatever. Like the top ramen stuff, not the actual ramen. Not my favorite though. It's very, very strong. A lot of seasoning to it. And it's really not something that I would enjoy eating on the regular. You like I kind of like her. My gosh, she's a freak. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm sure there's a lot of people that like this stuff. I just don't at all. I'm surprised you do. I'm surprised. I'm not a roast beef fan. So I didn't. I honestly was like, well, really. That's not real roast beef. I, well, no, I know. But I was really nervous to have it. Like, I tried to find a really small piece, and I was like, oh, I kind of like it. It kind of grows on you. Yep. You know, the interesting thing is it almost. Has a cinnamon flavor at the end. It almost has a, like a almost like a curry flavor mm -hmm. taste to it, just as a little bit. And I mm -hmm. like curry, what I've had so far. Yeah, I like it. Mm. Maybe you, I would rate what you, it. What do you grade it? Yeah. I would probably rate like a seven. Yeah, I, I would a eat it. A seven? I would eat it. Wow. <laughs> Christmas time. Well, maybe making me feel bad. Maybe I'm thinking a six. But no, I would and eat you it. You can like what you like. I'm just shocked by it. I'm surprised by your rating. I know, like. Especially with it being roast beef, like I'm a little like embarrassed to be like, I'll take the roast beef chips, please. Okay, make a prediction of what's gonna be next. I'm just kidding. You have no Number idea. four. So what are we checking out next? The Max Double Crunch. K oh it is KFC guy. I was like, that looks like the KFC guy. KFC Zinger. There's the Colonel right there. I don't think we have chips by him. Well, I've never heard that. of Max Double mm -hmm. Crunch before. I mean this chip looks very similar to like a ruffle but a little more dramatic. But nothing flavored after the fast food joint KFC. So I'm assuming this is going to be good. Zinger makes me think it might be a little spicy. I always have to smell things before. Doesn't really add much of a smell to it. I'm Almost like a stale. Like a, Quad like my a stale flavor. But yeah, these are kind of like ruffles, but they're just... Thicker. Yeah. Here we go. Have a kick. A little bit. There's really, it's interesting. There's not much of a flavor to it, but you can feel the spice a little bit. Mm -hmm. But I don't really taste like, I'm not a big fan of anything spicy, but if it has a good flavor to it, then it's really harder for me to resist it. It has a little tiny hint of a flavor. But I do like the the crunch. It's called double crunch. I like the crunchy texture of the chip. Yeah. So I feel like it's too crunchy for me. I get it kind of hurt my jaw chewing it. I would probably rate that a three. That's like a year back. Three? Mm-hmm. This is something I can see snacking for a long time because it doesn't have like a powerful flavor like the roast beef. I'm going to give this one a six. I like this. Okay. Not my favorite, but I do like it. I can see myself buying this like for a road trip or something like that I'm like oh you got some double crunch there let me fold this under since you couldn't oh wow oh you probably didn't see it but <laughs> yeah pause back hold on hold on ah uh, life there is good go. sometimes the double crunch is just too much there it is okay wow. number crisp and number five i thought she was gonna bust uh the tape or something no. So we have a few of these. Okay. Going to bank it first, not the scampi, huh? Nope. 
So right. you want to read it? Bacon flavor fries by Smith's. Now Smith's is a drugstore here or a grocery store. Yeah. Um. So probably a different Smith's. <laughs> I'm, I'm thinking so, Nick. <laughs> I'm just saying, like that. That's what we have here. Oh, they have like cute little like Cheez Its. Oh, these are bacon flavor. I don't think I've ever had a bacon flavored chip. I'm going for the big one. Oh yeah, that's my it's little like, one. Those you little got slices. a fragment. <laughs> okay, well let me get a bigger one. All right, you ready? There you go. Oh, it's like a, like a little mini churro. Here we go. Oh, 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 no, oh, no. oh. No. Oh. No. You want a flavor? Oh, Han Solo, how dare you? <laughs> how dare you? Not my favorite. It's a one. Oh it's God. a one in my book. <laughs> oh my gosh. I can't think of anything. We, we have not the best snacks here in the U.S. I'm not mm -hmm. trying to do that. But I can't think of anything comparable to this. This was like the safe one, too. So <laughs> we'll see. I don't. I like the texture a lot. I think the texture is cool. I like the size, all that kind of stuff. The crisp itself is really nice. The flavor is horrendous, in my opinion. I'm going to give this a one as well. I can't it's wait got, to give it to our kids. <laughs> it's got... And me being the person I am, it's going to be all about... This is really good. You guys got to try this out. Just to see their faces. Because I'm just that mean. I'm nervous to see our faces in this reaction. Yeah, that was... Uh, Pull the scampi. It was too strong. Yep, I, we got to try the scampi now. You rated that one a one, right? I rated that one a one. Okay, crisp number six. We got the scampi. So this is another one of the Smiths. Scampi flavored fries. So when I saw this in the box, I was a little nervous. Scampi. That's a seafood. <laughs> yes, yes it is. <laughs> I've never had seafood flavored chips before. Seafood flavored chips. And just in case anyone's wondering, we had invited Gabe onto this reaction, but his schedule just was not going to allow it. We didn't want it to sit around for too long without being consumed. So we have his blessing to try it without him. He said him. do it without him. Ooh, these ones are kind of a little different. Ooh. Shape. Wow, look at those. Look at like, it's like a little pizza oh, bite. If you smell the entire no, thing, it's no, like fish. No, I can't. I can't because I won't eat it. I'll smell it after. Okay, ready? <laughs> I feel like I need to pull up my nose for this one. Here we go. Stop that. Oh, there it comes. <laughs> oh, like the seafood taste afterwards is so prominent. <laughs> it's... It's what it, it's exactly what I expected. I will say it does taste like scampi. I'm not gonna lie, it does taste like scampi. I should say I don't like scampi. Never thought I would have it in a chip. I don't think it needs to be a chip. I think the uh, I think this is a really cool shape though. I'm not gonna lie. And I touched this, I'm gonna eat another one, but I don't really like this. That one's a zero. I'll up the bacon. No. No, it's not as bad as the bacon. I'm not nope. gonna lie. Yeah, it's the bacon. It uh, <laughs> no, just that, that aftertaste comes. <laughs> not as bad as the bacon. I'm gonna actually give it a three. I really am. I don't. I don't. I don't dislike that much of the bacon. I don't like it though. It, like at first, I was like, "Oh, this isn't bad," and then all of a sudden, like halfway through, you're you, you get it. Like all that flavor just comes like oozing tips. out. Yeah. <laughs> yep. <laughs> I like crab and I like lobster, but I don't like fish and I don't like scampi. So I had put Scallops. this in my mind in the same boat, but this is not. This is not Smith's. This is called Jacob's, and these are Cheez-Its. Oh. So right away I think of Cheez-Its. Cheez-Its, yeah. But we they have look more like the um. Oh, what are the little white chicken. blue box with the white chicken or something like that? The um. Chicken biscuit. Yeah, chicken biscuits? Yeah, they look like chicken biscuits. It still sounds nasty to me. I don't think I've ever even had a chicken biscuit before. So, Cheez-Its, and then we have what's called cheese nips. Cheese nips are nothing compared to Cheez-Its, in my opinion. Got they look similar, they're thicker, they're not nearly as good. So we're going to try these out. All right. What is your, what is your prediction on this one? Are you going to love it? I have no idea. Or dislike it? I'm just going in with an open mind. It, okay, I, guess, I was going to say, at first it smelled like dog food, but no. It, it smells like what you would think. I'm not going to smell. I'm just going to eat. I, I can't. That's a, what does that smell? It reminds me of something. I don't know. The, the, the cracker like just melts away instantly. It's got no give. 
No texture. No it's more. like it reminds me a lot of a chicken biscuit. A lot. Does it? Mm -hmm. I never had it before. Really? We used to buy them all the time. I'm thinking of the right name, aren't I? I don't know if we ever had. You're thinking of maybe Triscuits or Wheat mm -hmm. Thins. We never had a chicken biscuit. Mm -mm. Then maybe I had growing up. I gotta check yeah. to make sure that I'm thinking of the right cracker. So, not very good in my opinion. It's oven baked, not fried, so that's good. Um, that should be better as far as nutrition, all that kind of stuff. But so far, I'm striking out. That's and I like chips. Good. I was excited for this. So far, I'm not doing so well, but this one, is, to me, is just is bland. It's not about being gross or anything. Huh. It's just bland. And maybe it's because it's just been in the bag for too long. I have it's no idea. It's not bland. I taste all that cheddar. It's there not that expired. Cheese. I taste it. I don't know. It's kind of bland to me. I'm going to give it a two. Yeah, I think I'll go with the two. It's not, it, it definitely has that cheese. Like, it's not bland to me. Like, it had full flavor, but it wasn't my favorite. I liked the cheese in this quavers much better than the cheese in the cheese lid. Yeah, but we're more familiar with that kind of cheese, though. And that could be why. Okay. All right, number, wait, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, oh, eight. That was number seven. Just kidding. Chris, number, number eight. eight. Twiglets. Ooh, I'm, I'm excited about this one. I am not excited at all because this makes me think of like something you find out in the mountains, like on the floor. Someone commented, I'll put their comment right here on our last video that Twiglets are disgusting. Oh. <laughs> so okay. I'm excited. This is just the original flavor. They're whole grain. Yeah. Oven baked. I mean, they seem healthy. I just, I, if I invented a chip, I would never say called a twig. Oh, it's this like a This is from pretzel. Jacob's as well. It's like a pretzel. Jacob needs... Holy cow, that looks so weird. Like a dog bone? Jacob needs to redeem itself, so let's see. <laughs> oh, my, oh, 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 it tastes like a twig. <laughs> it tastes like a twig. Oh, we're going to get so many thumbs down on this video. It's got a burnt taste. Oh, my gosh, it does. Holy burnt. Oh, my gosh, it tastes like a twig. You are correct. <laughs> in the comment section, they are just, oh, my God. I can't even eat a second one. Never in a million years. I didn't finish the half of my first one. At first, I was like, oh, this is like like that, um, oh, my gosh. It's a flavor Those that honey smacks ends. like cereal at first. But then that flavor, <laughs> and you're right, it was like burnt. <laughs> I think we got a bad batch. I'm not going to lie. That not expired, but I think I just burnt this batch. Oh, my gosh. Does anyone like these? <laughs> Do you eat these just because, like, it's all about the health? Oh, my gosh. You no could, one? like, put it on top of a casserole and bring it to a barbecue tomorrow. Oh, we're going to get so many. I'm going to get so many thumbs down on this video. She even finishers. I didn't. It's right there. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm not trying to be mean. I just no. It wasn't mine. I, no. I, I was having no. high hopes. No. All right, crisp number nine. Let's go. So this is the last one. Ooh, and these are a Mumbai flavor. Inspired by Mumbai. I wonder how you get a snack and fly inspired by an entire city. How that works. This is Sensations so Street Mix. So it's like flavored nuts. I bet it has like the flavors of like their foods in Mumbai. It's got Indian style crackers. It's got curried peanuts, gently seasoned black pepper rice sticks, and spiced onion peanuts. Okay. Opening bags are hard. I wasn't sure if it had like one of those like little zip tie or those little zip lock thing with jiggers. Okay, so we're gonna try each one at a time. Okay. okay. So here we'll try one of these cluster thing with jigs. It actually looks like a little round shrimp. <laughs> this is the Indian style crackers. Okay. Okay. Oh, I like that. Mm -hmm. Very good. Mm hmm. Mm. That was very yummy. Mm hmm. That was very good. That was sensational. It was. I'm going to give those like a six, six and a half. Mm. Maybe it's seven. Oh, like snap. Six. Now we're going to do the rice sticks. Okay. Uh -huh. Similar flavor, probably mm -hmm. the same flavor. No, I definitely get a kick of um, pepper. It's not bad. Oh yeah, it's those are good. A little bit of spice. Mm -hmm. I like rice sticks a lot, as far as, as a cracker or a snack. Look at that one, a seven. Yeah. 
I like both of them a lot so of far. Pepper. It's just a lot of pepper, yeah. I Onion ball it. time. Seven, two. Okay. So good eat about. Okay, ready? <laughs> it's called onion ball. Mm. Or onion peanut, excuse me. It's not my favorite, but mixed with the other ones, I can see what it wouldn't be bad. Okay, add a peanut. And then, nope. So I'm having a hard time distinguishing the difference between the onion peanut and the other regular peanuts. This is the crunchy coated spice onion peanut. Oh, no. Okay, so we curry. ate the curried peanut first. I don't know. This they, is they the look country. Exactly the same. Oh. oh, well. It's good. Yeah. Oh, it's a good mix. I like the first two that we ate the best. No, that um, was my favorite one right there. Really? The onion peanut. Yeah. Mm. I like the first two be the best, but I can see how all of them together would make like a really nice mix. There's another street mix inspired by Mexico, Mexico City. Mm. And I'm glad I'm glad with his reaction because this one expires. It's best before the 17th of July. Ooh. So we got just in time. Yeah. That was good. I I don't know. I've never been to Mumbai. Okay. I, and I know there's a lot of spices, but I keep hearing it's not spicy, it's just spices. I don't know about Mumbai itself or other places in India. So I can, I guess I can kind of see that. I don't know for my, myself. It's interesting how the nutritional information is organized in a different way on the back mm. than what we usually see with our diagram bar, not diagrams, but our frequency tables and whatnot. But uh, that was good. I would give that a seven overall. Yeah, I like that. I think I'll agree with you. Six and a half or a seven. Should we end this with a dessert? Yes. Out of these right here, my favorite is probably Tyrell's and then the Max. Okay. What about you? What are your two favorites? I think I like Tyrell's and I think I like the roast beef. Are you going to say the Twizzlet? No, no. The roast beef. I also like the Quaver, so that was pretty good too. So we're going to end on a sweet, the Jammy, and of course this one is called the Dodgers. How dare you? Now at least it's not blue like Dodger blue, so if you don't know that's a baseball team I absolutely loathe, the rivals for the Padres, so... When I eat this, I'm going to imagine, not that I'm eating the Dodgers, but that I'm destroying the Dodgers. Raspberry flavored jam filled cookie. Mm, I it. love jammies. I like pajamas. You can't make me laugh when I'm speaking in five weeks. Mm. It's spread out throughout, mm -hmm. not just the center part. Mm -hmm. Raspberry. Drop the little piece. What do you think? By far the best thing, but it's that that fair because it's kind of a sweet. Mm -mm. Can't compare it, but I love it because I could probably eat an entire package and not feel like a sugar overload. Like it's just oh, it's that perfect. light sweetness. Yeah, told you I was excited about these. I wanted to eat these since we got the box. These are really good. Finally, Dodgers have put a smile on my face. Um. And it's funny, I just ripped it up. It says, dodge. <laughs> but I'm not going to dodge these because those are really good. Mm -hmm. So, overall, really, really appreciate Han Solo sending this to us. We, we have no idea how happy that makes us, how touched we are that you would take the time and, and you know, the resources to send this to us. It was amazing. Thank you so much. And I kind of totally bragged to some friends about it. So, you're oh, the man. <laughs> super awesome. We really appreciate it. But these snacks were not my favorite, unfortunately. I'm curious, um, Han and everyone else, what are you, what are your thoughts of these? Are these just not a good collection of snacks? Are these really, really popular? And so it's just me with my American taste buds or us with our American taste buds. Some things are similar. The roast beef, I was disappointed. I thought that was going to be delicious. Um, the Twiglets, by far the most grossest snack. I'm sorry. But i got to be honest, that I've had ever, I think. I'm sorry. You didn't finish yours. No. I was not a fan of the Twiglets or the Scampi. Like, just I don't think I could ever eat those again. I, I almost, like, don't even want to have our kids try the Twiglets. But oh, I, I desperately want them to try it. I totally want to, like, bring those Twiglets to school and just, like, leave them on the, the teacher's lunch table. and just, Who brought these? <laughs> just see. 
Um, maybe it's us. Maybe they're very, maybe very maybe you know, lovable. But I really liked like this for like I could just take like that section called good. You can have your max crunch. I mean, I feel like it wasn't a bad collection. It's still a good collection. There was just a couple that. Well, were I didn't mean to say favorites. a bad collection, but I'm surprised because I eat a lot of chips. Um, I eat a lot of food, but I eat a lot of chips. And I'm just a little surprised. She's going to eat herself another jammy. While she does, please don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't done so yet. Let us know um, what are some other snacks I mean, we should try to get over here from different parts of the con or the world excuse me, that we probably have not tried yet. Thank you so much for everything. And until next time, goodbye. <laughs> goodbye. <laughs>